Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're on day six of our new Valentine's Day challenge. Today is Saturday and today I know a lot of you guys are getting ready for tomorrow's Super Bowl and stuff, but I wanted to talk to you guys about so many success stories that I've heard of at least today. And every day these success stories come rolling in. Our community is doing really, really well. So hey Abby, I just wanted to tell you guys and showcase a couple people on here to tell you guys about their progress and how they've been doing. And I have some amazing stories to tell you guys about. Um, hopefully, I, I don't wanna necessarily say the names of everyone because a couple people are anonymous on here, but I wanna tell you guys about their story a little bit, talk about their results. And a couple people here actually wrote down uh, one of them actually made a video so I, you guys can go see it after. So anyway, let me tell you guys a couple stories. I'm so excited. Hey Jen, hey Cosmic, Sabrina. No, Sabrina, I, I've been doing OMAD for since day three of this challenge because I needed a break from fasting. So I've been doing OMAD for the past couple days. Um, okay, listen to this. I have a couple success stories for you guys right now. Um, the first success story I have, I have three success stories. I have so many, but the three that I'm gonna talk about right now are three people that I've spoken to today. So number one, it, I'm not gonna say her name unless she's on here, I think you're on here, but I just wanted to talk about her story. So she started somewhere about 460 pounds and she has lost so far in the past five months, she has lost 105 pounds. So she started at 460 pounds and with OMAD, uh, actually with intermittent fasting and keto and 72 hour fast, she worked her way up to water fasting to do a prolonged one. And in the past five months, she has gone down 105 pounds. So if you guys saw her transformation, she was talking about it today in Fast Forward to Health Facebook group, but she is incredible. What happened is she started doing keto at the beginning and then eventually she was doing intermittent fasting and keto and she slowly started working her way up to doing longer fasts, so prolonged fasting. She did two days, three days, five days, and she kept going up like that and kind of building up her fasting muscle. And she has lost 105 pounds so far. So she's down under 360 and her goal for this year is to get into the 200s or get under the 200s as far as I understood. I'm not looking at the, the chat right now, so I might be saying this wrong, but I'm so, so proud that it's been five months of hard work. And one tip that she was giving me today to pass on to you guys, because I know you guys want to hear other transformation stories. And what I would like to do in some of my next videos are showcase some of those transformations that people are having and put the before and after pictures on this channel. Yeah, there you are. So she, Cosmic Beauty, she's the one she lost 105 pounds so far in five months. And then another one here, Jessie Can Create. If you guys see her in the chat, she's here right now too. I'm gonna tell you guys about her transformation in a second as well, so stay tuned. But it's phenomenal, guys. You know that regardless of what weight you are at, like I am so impressed with you, Cosmic Beauty, because you started out at 460 pounds, or somewhere around there, 460 pounds, and you took initiative and you show other people out there that it doesn't matter what weight you are, it doesn't matter what size you are, anybody can do this. I'm so, 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 so imp just proud of you. I'm so impressed because she told me even sometimes like she was doing keto most of the time. She says she does keto 95% of the time and if she still wants, she'll still have some food now and then that's not keto and then she gets right back and gets onto keto. So I am so, so, so impressed to Cosmic Beauty. I'm so impressed. I'm so speechless when I saw her transformation today in the group. She posted her, her before and after like phase gains that they call it and she's still on her journey right now so we're keeping on going with her and I'm just so proud that you guys are part of this community and I'm so proud that you guys are doing really well. Um, what's my background? Lizette's asking what's my background and Alexa says she resisted pizza last night so that's awesome. Uh, I'm originally Turkish. My mom is Turkish, my dad is half Turkish but I was born and raised in Canada so I live in Canada now. Um, so that's my background. Um, Number two, okay, so just, just to let you guys know, keto, even if you're like 95% keto and sometimes you go out and have some naughty foods that, you, that are not 100% keto, you're still doing really amazing. 
So I'm so proud. She lost 105 pounds in five months, down from 460 pounds to just under 360 pounds. So I'm so proud. We give her a round of applause. I'm so happy that you're part of our fasting family. That's the, one of the first transformations I wanted to showcase. Now, transformation number two is called, is Jesse Can Create. She's here in the comments as well, watching the live with us. So she actually just launched a, a, she actually just has her YouTube channel as well. So I wanted to give her a shout out. But you guys know that I do not do shout outs for anybody, but she's part of our community and she's been hustling. And this month so far, she has lost 20 pounds. As far as I mean, correct me in the comments if I'm making a mistake, but she's been doing her fasting. And if you give us the details here, you guys can click on her channel. So if you can make a comment here, Jessica, and her name is, oh, okay, I'm not going to say your full name, but her YouTube name is Jessica, Jessie Can Create. So if you can put it there in the comments so everybody can see your name, go click on her and check her video out because she just posted her transformation as well so far and she's still killing it and doing it every single day. That's another incredible transformation. Then... A couple of the people that I've been working with last month already, like last week, down five and a half pounds, and one of them's down eight pounds. So you guys are doing really well. Whoever's on my Patreon, you guys are doing amazing too. And another girl that I'm, I'm working with on Patreon, who, who's uh, being motivated and coached by our Patreon community, is has lost so far, she has lost 50 pounds. And I'm really, really impressed. Even her husband, or actually it's her boyfriend, started doing OMAD as well, and he's 330 pounds. So she started doing OMAD. Uh, he started doing OMAD when he saw her doing really well and getting some progress. So now it's influencing their whole couple, and they're working really well together, and they're doing this whole fitness thing together, which just these stories are just incredible. And I know that a lot of the time you guys are watching my story and me talking all the time, but I want this channel also be a place to showcase other people's transformations. So let me just, uh, let me just tell you guys again, Jesse can create. There you go. So that's her. That's her username. You guys can click on her profile. Jesse can create. Go check out her transformation. She lost 21 pounds so far doing, uh, she said, occasional 48 to 72 hour fast, but mostly living with the 18-6 intermittent fasting and OMAD. Honestly, I don't know how I would do if I didn't discover the fasting life. So those are some incredible transformations. I'm so, so, so proud. So you guys know I don't do shout outs, but you are part of the community and this is something that we need to share with everybody. And these are the type of shout outs that I will do any day because people that are in our community who are having amazing success and who are brave enough to share their success because I know it's hard to share your success online because there's some people who will make comments and it's just how the YouTube life works. Okay, but I'm so proud. So go check out Jesse Ken Creates channel. Cosmic Beauty, if ever you're going to post anything on YouTube, let me know. I'm going to send people your way as well so they can follow your transformation as well. Hi, Athena. <laughs> Athena, you're such an angel. You don't have to do that. Thank you so much, sweetie. Oh, wow. <laughs> you're so adorable. Um, let me talk a little bit more about Jessie Can Create. She says, around 600 calories on eating days and watching Beyonce on the treadmill. I love that you embrace what is seen as taboo method to health and weight loss. Yeah, you know, people think it's so taboo, but really, like, look at these success stories that we have, these people who are just working hard at their health every day, and all you need to do is do some fasting and delay your gratification. Like, I know Cosmic Beauty was telling me that once in a while she likes having some... Oh, <laughs> Jesse, you guys don't have to do that. You guys are adorable. You don't have to do that at all, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. But I'm really, really, really proud of you guys. Like, honestly, like hearing these success stories of people messaging me every day and talking about their success stories, it just makes me so happy because it just shows that it works. And even Cosmic Beauty was saying, she said, sometimes I'm not keto, but 95% of the time I'm keto. So if you have those special days where you just want to go out and eat something that's not keto, that's fine. Just make it fit into your lifestyle. Because I'm sure that you don't need to be eating out every single day. And trust me, I had these dark days when I used to order in every day. I used to order for two and get two pairs of chopstick when I would eat like pad thai and green curry. This is back in the day when I was like, over when I was 225 pounds plus like I was probably even higher than that but I have no photos anything higher because I was just kind of hiding 
But I remember the days, guys, where I used to order takeout all by myself for two people, and I used to tell myself, okay, I'll just keep leftovers for tomorrow, and I never used to keep leftovers, and I would just lie to myself about it. Hey, Claudel, Claudel's doing awesome, too. I think Claudel's on day six right now of her water fast. You guys, wow, honestly, shout out to all of you guys. You guys are doing amazing, and as much as, like, honestly, it's exhausting doing a live every single day, because I'm not even having, like, any, oh, she's on day seven, Claudel, good job. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of hard for me sometimes that I make sure that I'm home at 6.30 to do the live every day. And sometimes I feel like, oh, no, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't want to make them bored or anything like that. And I, I don't want to just ramble on all the time. But, like, you know, I, oh, you guys are amazing. I'm just so proud of you guys, honestly. Jessie, Jessica says, me too, I can relate. I'm a Thai food fanatic. I used to order fried rice or Penang curry and three orders of mango sticky rice and eat it all in one sitting. Oh my God, same thing with me. I used to order pad thai, okay? I used to order pad thai and I used to order green curry and I used to order a portion of rice to eat with the green curry and I would lie to myself and tell myself that I'm hiding it and eating it like, you know, keeping it for leftovers tomorrow. That was the excuse. And that's, that's the lie that I used to tell myself every time. I used to tell myself that I'm getting it for leftovers so it's better to order more because of the delivery fee. And it's just insane, the lies that I used to tell myself. And as you guys know, like, I would just eat the whole thing in one. Yeah, it's hard to know. That's back when I wasn't even tracking calories, Brie. Like, that's when I didn't care about anything. So it's insane. I wasn't tracking anything. It was just so sad because I was in so much denial ordering for two people and sometimes I ordered like almost every night because then obviously the next day I didn't have leftovers and then I got in this like crisis mode. It used to happen every day when I used to come home from work and then I used to work at this like food, uh, I used to work in the sales team. Hey Anu, Anu's here. Anu is doing so well with her fast as well. She has already lost eight pounds. And she had a little bump in the road. She was feeling irritable, but she is doing amazing. So I'm so impressed. Um, Farid is here from Lima, Peru. Amazing, guys. Look, fasting is international. You guys are everywhere having the same results. Like, it's incredible. Jesse can create. If you guys missed it, um, I was just talking. Oh, no. Okay, my, my phone's about to die. I feel like my battery's about to die in a couple seconds. But... Um, Jessie can create go check out her transformation because she's posting her one month transformation if you guys missed the beginning of this video Cosmic Beauty was talking about how she lost a hundred and five pounds so far with intermittent fasting and 95% keto almost all the time keto but she has some time where she doesn't and guys like wow you guys are here Christine's here from the UK 40 plus is here from Belgium Black Snow says, I'm jealous of you guys. Black Snow, I know you have a different case, and I know that you're on the different type of thing, so we, so we said we, you're going to talk to your doctor about that before you start any fasting. So, guys, this is amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. Becky says, I hate cooking, but fasting made it more enjoyable when I'm mostly cooking for others, not myself. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Wow, Melanie lost 11 pounds this month, incredible. Farid, you're beautiful as well. I can't see your picture, but you're a beautiful person and I can tell because you're here and you're supporting our community. Um, are you currently extended fasting? Very impressive, Anon Omus. Oh, that's a cute name, Anon Omus. Um, I am not doing any extended fasting for a while. I was, but I honestly got a little bit tired with it. So I've been just doing OMAD and I'm trying to stick with my keto. I'm just doing that right now. Luna says, I saw a girl that lost weight eating four days with low calorie and three days fasting and she ran that four days and now skinny and healthy. That's amazing. You guys are all doing so good. Becky says, I did too. Congrats everyone, that's awesome. Like, anyway, I, I didn't know what to talk about today and then all of a sudden three people came, sorry, I have like kind of hiccups, but three people came and told me their transformations and I said, okay, come on the live. I'm gonna talk to you guys right now about everything. Siobhan said, for finally completed my, Siobhan, so I completed my first day in a long time, uh, in a while. So as you guys know, and I can tell you guys that I'm pretty sure that maybe Jessica would also vouch for this, Cosmic Beauty would vouch for this, uh, Luann I know who is doing great in her transformation too. I know every one of you guys so far that I mentioned with the transformations now, 
you guys can all probably vouch for this, that you do as well as you can and you stay as keto as you can or you do as much fasting as you can and then you have days where you live your life and you enjoy the world. Like that's it, that's how you do it. You do some fasting, you do some feasting, you can't be perfect 100% of the time, but you do what works for you, whatever sustainable for you and you fit it into your lifestyle. <laughs> Luna thinks, I don't feel gorgeous. I Honestly, I went for a walk with my dog today and I feel like I should like do makeup and stuff and look good in these videos, but I just, this is my natural, what I look like and I don't wanna go out of my way to put makeup on because it's just not how I am. And sometimes I get self-conscious being on camera because I'm not like, you know, wearing any mascara and stuff, but this is who I am. So I'm not gonna, you know, do the crazy excessive lighting. I'm just in my kitchen. I don't even have a light right now so anyway I, I used to be like really nervous about doing anything like I usually just keep my hair down and I never do anything else so even going in public with a braid I feel weird about it the only time I ever used to wear a braid is when I wore my cap and went to the gym because I'm not used to doing hairstyles but anyway, I'm getting like all red and blushy now I'm nervous um yeah Jennifer says yeah Jennifer amazing transformation as well Jennifer, can you tell us in the comments? I know that I told them the other day. Can you let us know in the comments how much weight you lost as well? Because Jessica, uh, Jennifer, sorry, is another huge transformation as well. Um, I'm just going to catch up on these comments. Nothing wrong with enjoying small things exactly. I know, I'm so happy you're here. Uh, that's what I had to get away from. Cre exactly, so Jesse can create. Jessica says... It's what I had to get away from was crazy perfectionism because I used to give up if I had a bad day. So that's what happens where you're just so focused on everything being perfect and then you get stressed out and just boom, that's when people binge and that's when people go backwards. But all you have to realize is that if you have a fail day or you decide that you're not keto one day, that's totally fine. Just keep going. It's not gonna be perfect 100% of the time. And I'm not perfect 100% of the time. I make tons of mistakes. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, yesterday there was a box of Christmas cookies that were sitting on the counter and I had a couple cookies and I feel like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that because you guys know I don't eat sugar and I felt so bad and I was kind of like hating myself all day. But I said, you know what? It's like one out of a hundred and today's February 1st. So we're doing this again, even if we mess up, it doesn't matter, you just keep going, you fail forward. And I'm telling you guys like full transparency, like we all mess up, it doesn't matter. It's never gonna be 100% perfect, it's not possible. So we just have to do this all the time. You guys, you guys like my braid. <laughs> I'm reading all your comments. Cynthia's here, salam, be yourself, it's your business. <laughs> Whoa, Jennifer, okay, so Jennifer says, so far I've lost 127 pounds, started at 267 and now 139 pounds. You guys, oh, it's just amazing. See, like how can, you, how can you argue with these results? Every single person here who's committing, who's here every day, who's either doing the lives with me every day or who has started fasting way before I even existed, which is a lot of people, because I'm new and I just started my channel, but it's just obvious that people are telling us that fasting's unhealthy and that keto is like a crazed diet and stuff like that. But you know what? Like it's working for people. A lot of the time, I think you guys can vouch for it that fasting actually saves you a ton of money over anything. So it's it's just like undeniable results. Like these results cannot lie, really. I'm trying to catch up to these comments right now. Yeah, Rebel says, Sugar's fine occasionally as long as you've broken your carbon sugar addiction. You are my inspiration. I want to, aha, uh -huh. cosmic beauty is amazing. Veronica says, go Jennifer. Awesome, Jennifer. Honestly, okay, that's, that's four transformations. And this is only four of the one that I'm talking about. Because every single day people send me emails and send me messages. They say, hey, I saw your YouTube live and I, I lost this much weight. Another girl told me she's been watching my live since the summer. Actually, not my lives, but my videos since July. And she lost... 40 pounds and she told me this I think a month or two ago that she lost 40 pounds just by kind of like checking in coming for the videos being accountable getting the waterfastingforum.com and just making your free account there and rebel says he's medication free it's like your calories have to be so low if you exactly exactly Jesse so Jessica says that 
It's exactly what I'm telling people. So if you have to eat six meals a day or five meals a day, like I know a lot of personal trainers like to push the whole like five, six meals a day thing and they say it gets your metabolism running. But the thing is, if you need to eat like 1500 calories and you have to have several small meals a day, then your meals are like 300 calories, 400 calories max. You know, if you're eating, if you're eating six meals a day at 1500 calories, unless my math is off right now, that's like 250 calories a meal. 500, 500, 500, exactly. So that's no fun. Imagine eating meals every couple hours that are 250 calories. Like, where are you feeling full at that point? Where are you feeling full? You're eating a couple little things here and there and it sounds terrible. Like, it sounds terrible. I, trust me, I've done the five meals a day with tiny meals with lots of tiny calories and I was eating like, carrot sticks once in a while. Oh, my nose is always runny, guys. It's really annoying. Okay, one sec. My nose is always runny. It's winter here, it's cold outside. Sucks. I need to fix my nose. <laughs> Claudel says water fasting fits so well with my busy work days. I can eat little five meals a day. I can't eat little five meals a day. And that's the thing, you know? Is it okay to do OMAD on 600 calories a day? Tara, I would say that it's better not to do 600 calories a day. Have more calories and check what your BMR is. Go check how many calories that you burn in a sedentary lifestyle and just do a little bit of a deficit, but don't do the low calorie thing because your body will adjust to it and that's how your metabolism slows down a lot. So I wouldn't do that. Um, Christine says, started keto July 2019. First fast in December for 14 days before I turned 50. I was 14 stone 7 pounds, which was 203 pounds. And now 11 stone 5 pounds, 159 pounds. I put my type 2 diabetes into remission. So happy. Christine, amazing. Wow, Christine went from 203 to 159 pounds and put her type 2 diabetes into remission. Georgia says... Oh, my son told me that OMAD doesn't work and that I need to eat six times a day. No, it's true. You guys know what's up. And if you eat like every 48 hours to 72 hours like me lately, you are always going to be in a deficit no matter if you're keto or not. Exactly. So Cosmic Beauty, the one who lost 105 pounds, this is a tip from her. She says, if you eat every 48 hours to 72 hours, and I know I was talking about this, I think, in my live yesterday, because there's a lot of things popping up called like rolling 48 and 72 hour fast. So every 72 hours you eat or every 48 hours you eat, you will be in a deficit no matter what because you're actually fasting. So as long as you're having any type of fasting protocol, it's awesome. Um, Attack Chopper says, finally started this prolonged fast, minimum of seven days. I'll use your tips to complete it. The sticky notes on the fridge and I'll drink a cold brew for <laughs> hot black coffee. It's nasty. Wow, guys, this, see, the results don't lie. Honestly, it's just incredible. I love it when you guys share your stories. If you guys have any like transformation photos that you want to share, send them to me by email at fastforwardtohealth at gmail.com. Or if you have like a video that you want to share, maybe in my next video, I can post it there to just share your transformations with people and show them that the fasting works. Because I want these show, I want to showcase like as many transformations as I can. Because even myself, I like watching other people's transformations, but when you're scrolling on YouTube, sometimes it's the same ones over and over and over and over. So it's fun to have some variety and see new transformations. And I would love to make some sort of compilation for everyone who's in our Fast Forward to Health community who's having these amazing transformations, even if it's just been one month and you have amazing results like Jessie can create. So if you guys check out her channel, she just made her 20, uh, she just made her 21 pound weight loss video from this one month. So she's doing amazing and I'm just proud of you guys and thank you so much for sharing these things with me. Send me your videos and I'm gonna do some compilations and if you guys want, some of you guys who have had a lot of success, let me know and I would love to do like an interview with you. I know, I know Jessica and I are supposed to do one and we never ended up getting to it, but it's been busy, it's been crazy, so now we can try to do that as well. Claudel says, yesterday I was really tired, but today I got on the scale and saw eight pounds lost in six days. Needless to say, I had an extra little pep in my step today. Exactly. And Robert's here right now, just got off work. And he 
is amazing. 32 days of fasting. This is his first long fast and he's on day 32 right now. And I know that he's off one of his medications. At, like, that's the last that I heard from it. That's amazing too. He just finished work. He said that vest is killing me. 13 hour workout because he has to wear the vest all day at work. A big heavy vest. And day 32. I'm so impressed. Oh. Uh, for you guys that just signed on, I'm just going to repeat these other little transformations. So Christine said that she has lost so much weight. I, I forgot the numbers now, but huge numbers. I think she was 200 and wait, let me go back and see Christine's comment. 203 pounds to 159 pounds type two diabetes in remission. So if you guys are not, if you guys fell off track, like look at these results of people who keep going, you can do this. Cosmic Beauty, if you guys just logged on, Cosmic Beauty lost 105 pounds in five months. She went from 460 down to just under 360. So she's doing amazing. Uh, Luann was telling me about her 50 pound loss and even her, her boyfriend started losing weight because he started doing OMAD this month. And I think she said that he lost 10 pounds just pretty much doing what she's doing as well because she's doing her OMAD and her water fasting. So he started doing that. Then uh, Jennifer is here and she lost tons of weight as well. Like you guys all have incredible fasting transformations and I know it's keep going and we just have to stop for a second and appreciate how well we're doing. So I was talking to one girl this morning on our coaching call and she lost she lost 5.4 pounds this week just doing OMAD alone. So let me show you guys something. <laughs> okay, for people who think five pounds is not a lot, if you guys are like, oh, I only lost five pounds and you guys are throwing out these massive numbers, um, this is one kilogram, right? These regular craft dinner, these sizes, this is one kilogram. This is 2.2 pounds, right? So if you tell me that you lost 5.5 pounds in a week, yeah, musicology, I don't eat this. It's been in my cupboard for like two years. I don't eat these peanut butter. I'll tell you guys the story about peanut butter as well after because I used to be really addicted to peanut butter. But I took this out this morning to show her via like the coaching call we did. This is one kilogram. So she lost 5.5 kilogram, 5.5 uh, pounds this week just doing OMAD. And this here, 2.2 pounds. So she lost two jars like this, two jars like this. Like imagine you lost two jars like this in one week just from doing OMAD and keto, right? So this really, really works. And a lot of people are reversing their diabetes. You can see it in the comments right now. They're reversing their type two diabetes, getting off their medication. And this is all thanks to water fasting and intermittent fasting. And a lot of people are on the ketogenic diet, which is not, Sometimes people think keto is a buzzword, but low carb is pretty much exactly what keto is. And low carb has been there since the beginning of time. So if you guys are sad about only losing two pounds, this is two pounds. Like this is pretty much pure fat, okay? Like imagine losing that, it's ridiculous. So two pounds is not bad. I, I don't like the smell of this. I'll tell you guys something, these craft dinner ones, I mean, these Kraft peanut butters, I used to be really addicted to these. I bought this, I think, like a year and a half ago. I haven't eaten peanut butter in a while except the almond butter that I made myself. And I just got a bunch of almonds and blended them up because I used to be really addicted to peanut butter as well. And I, I would tell myself that it's healthy and stuff like that. But the thing is, they definitely put something in here to give it that perfect texture, the perfect creaminess, the perfect taste and they get that bliss point, especially with people like Kraft. So this is super processed, no matter what it says on it, it's really, really not healthy. Like it says it just contains, yeah, look what it contains. Peanuts, soybean oil, corn, maltodextrin, sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oil, salt, mono and diglycerides, contains peanuts. This is really, really bad. So I pulled it out of my cupboard this morning, but I used to be really addicted to peanut butter. And it, it sounds like a stupid addiction, but really these companies, they really, 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 really get you addicted to these things. Like you guys don't understand. 
when I used to not be keto, I used to get like a whole loaf of bread and not, not the whole loaf necessarily, but I would do like so much toast with the peanut butter and jelly on top and it was so unhealthy. So if you guys ever want peanut butter or something like that, I recommend making your own. So this is one that I just made. I think I showed you guys the other day. I don't really eat it anymore despite I used to be pretty addicted to it, but this is the almond butter that you can have. This is really expensive though. That's why I went and made my own. I made this during refeed and I haven't even eaten it. Like it's completely full. I made this like two weeks ago. I probably, it's probably gonna go bad. But I made this two weeks ago. It's good, but it's just, when you eat the whole foods and it's natural, it's not anything that you can, you know, you can eat it, but you're not gonna get addicted to it the same way that you would get addicted to this. Bye, Robert. Have a great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna make a live tomorrow, guys. I'm maybe tomorrow I'll do a really quick, like five, ten minute live check in, because it's kind of exhausting to do lives every single day. But then I don't get tired of seeing your beautiful comments every single day, and it makes me happy to come on the live. It's just I feel like if I do it seven days a week. Yeah, exactly, Jennifer. You get so full on the whole stuff. Like if I eat one tablespoon of this. It's like actually hard to eat a tablespoon of this. This, you can eat like several spoons of it and it's, oh, I can't even think about it anymore, honestly. To think that we used to think that this is healthy, but this is extremely addictive. You have to be careful. These big guys like Kraft, they put some stuff in your food. Like really, they get you addicted because they want you to keep buying it. <laughs> Claudel says, I guess you get the day off. I don't really want the day off, but I just have to make shorter lives. But then every time I try to make a short live, like today's live was supposed to be like five minutes and I'm here for 31 minutes. But Cosmic Beauty says, I don't do sugar, but if ever I'm gonna act like it never happened and fast on, the faster you get over a bad day, the sooner you get back burning that fat. I learned this from you, don't snowball. Exactly. If you eat something bad, it's so good that you don't eat sugar because that used to be my addiction. And it's just something that if you eat it, you're gonna relapse. Exactly, Christine, I was talking about Bliss Point a couple minutes ago, I don't know if you were watching, but you do, this has the Bliss Point. And the Bliss Point is that engineered taste, the engineered smell that you get when they create this perfect taste, the perfect creamy texture, the perfect crunch for the other one. It's called the Bliss Point and it's completely engineered by scientists in a lab who are trying to make this as addictive as possible. That's called the Bliss Point if you guys wanna know that. So here's what I have to say today. <laughs> what does HYB mean? Cause I, he's not saying HMU today, right? <laughs> but anyway, if you guys are here, hit that like button if you guys want. I'm going to try to make some more videos this week. If you have any topic ideas that you guys want me to talk about, I know I said I was going to talk about what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week for OMAD, then let me know, not in these comments here, but once I post the video, if you guys can give me some topic ideas that you want me to make videos on or things that you would like to see videos on so you can share with your friends and family, that would be really, really awesome. And then I can like write down some notes and make some videos about that that you guys can share with your family. Like you guys asked me to post the fast shaming thing last time about explaining to, you know, our friends and family about, oops, my phone's literally about to die. Pick fruit over candy. If you need that, sugar apples are super sweet, watermelon and pears. Yeah, so I'm keto and I can't really eat fruits, but I would rather do fruits over sugar a hundred times better too. So anyway, I'm so proud of you guys. Top 10 days of fun. Okay, once I post the video in like five minutes, if you guys can post in the comments some video ideas you guys want me to make, that would really help me so I can go and film those videos for you guys. And I will sign off now because my phone's about to die, so I don't want to lose this footage. But I love you guys. Amazing transformations. Go check out Jessie Can Create. And as soon as Cosmic Beauty, if ever you post something, go check out her channel as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Super Bowl. Should I even make a video tomorrow? Because you guys are going to be all Super Bowling and stuff. But anyway, eat well tomorrow. Do what you got to do. If you need a little bit of some naughty food, do it. But make sure you get right back on track and do not snowball after the Super Bowl. I will be here not watching the Super Bowl. So let me know. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll just come make it like a little five-minute live that you can slip away in during the Super Bowl so I can tell you guys not to eat everything. Okay. Okay, maybe. Okay, okay. 
Uh, I'll let you guys know in the community section of the YouTube if I'll make a live tomorrow or not. We'll see. I feel like I get separation anxiety from you guys if I'm not here because I'm so used to making the lives every day. It's just become a part of my day at this point. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll leave you guys at that. I love you guys. Amazing transformation. Amazing progress. Keep going. You got this. And I will see you on Monday, worst case scenario. If I don't make a live tomorrow, I'll see you Monday, okay? You guys are phenomenal. I love you guys so much. I love your transformations. Have a good night. Bye. Happy fasting.